uh, youngest daughter, Isabel, who was actually class president of BCC High School uh, in 2015, go, um, texted me, she's in college, and she texted me, she was like, look, mom, look what BCC is doing. We're so proud. And our whole family was just so, so proud of um, this realization that our young people are constantly, constantly looking ahead trying to make sure that we become even more perfect um, because there's just so much effort out there and BCC has led the way on so many things, you know, I2 and BCC and they have such extraordinary clubs that really, really aspire to become um, more integrated, to make sure that everybody feels included. And this, I thought, was just such a brilliant idea. Um, and then today, of course, it's even more relevant uh, as we see our young people in Montgomery County really taking a stand and really taking the initiative to make their voices heard in an absolutely peaceful and civil fashion. So I thought it would be so important to bring you guys over here to let you know that we're all uh, so proud of what you are accomplishing. And of course, it wouldn't happen without the support of the staff and the support of parents um, in this extraordinary um, school um, community. So before um, I move into the proclamation, let me just describe what we're talking about. Uh, gender neutrality movement describes the idea that policies, language, and other social institutions should avoid distinguishing roles according to people's sex or gender in order to avoid discrimination. And so BCC adopted its new homecoming royalty court back in September uh, to put this into practice, and we hope that many other schools will pay attention and follow suit. Um, and so let me turn over to Councilmember Berliner very quickly before I get into the proclamation, and then we'll see who wants to say a few words as well. well just very quickly, you guys brought such a smile to our faces when we read about it and saw it. And I do think I yesterday when people were students were beginning to protest with respect to elections, that we really do count on you to lead us to show us how we are one family. And so we thank you. Awesome. So here's the proclamation, and we can share the reading now that I have new glasses. I can actually do that. Yes. All right. So the proclamation says, whereas for the first time, students at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School have joined a growing number of other schools around the nation that are moving to gender neutral homecoming courts to be more inclusive of transgender students. And whereas it was a vote of the student government at the school of more than 2,000 students that decided those honored at homecoming festivities at an October 2016 football game would not be restricted to labels of gender. And whereas... The new policy states that the two selected homecoming royals may be a man and a woman, or two men, or two women, or two transgender students, or any combination instead of the traditional king and queen. And whereas in keeping with the theme of individual choice, the selected homecoming royals were given the option to be crowned as homecoming royalty or with the traditional titles of king or queen. And whereas. Bethesda Chevy Chase High School is the first Montgomery is the first of Montgomery County's 25 high schools to adopt a gender neutral approach to homecoming courts. Now therefore a bit resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland recognizes the actions of Bethesda Chevy Chase High School in being leaders in showing that the that the special honorees from homecoming need not necessarily be kings or queens, but simply have to be well-respected people. Presented on this 15th day of November in the year 2016, signed by our council president, Nancy Florine. So I just wanted to say thank you um, for everything, and that thank you goes out to the people who have given us this proclamation and to BCC, um, especially um, Spectrum, the club, uh, the LGBT club at our school, um, this has been, this decision, this gender neutral homecoming court is a very personal thing on my part. Um, and I just found it to be a huge step in the right direction because like times are changing and as someone who identifies as a transgender individual, it felt that, you know, sometimes we were left a little bit behind because people didn't really know who we were or how we identified. And to have the school and Spectrum support 
you know, individuals like us um, and to show us that, you know, we're not going to be left behind. Um, I thought, like, it was, it, it was a really nice surprise um, that this decision was made. And I think it speaks a lot to students that may not have had their voice heard. And by seeing this, that um, they, you know, may find other ways to now bring this same level of inclusiveness um, to our school. So thank you. On just behalf of all the uh, 2,000 students at Bethesda Chevy Chase High School, I just wanted to um, thank the council for this. Uh, we really, really do appreciate it. Um, you know, we are so happy with this decision that we've come to. We hope that other schools will uh, pick it up and move along and that hopefully by next year, you know, many more high schools in Montgomery County and across the nation will have made a similar decision. Uh, I can't think enough as well. You know, my colleagues over at Whitman have already made a similar decision. I thank them as well. Um, and we will continue to push, you know, against hate and intolerance in our community, as you saw yesterday, uh, out the students at Blair, Northwood, Kennedy, Einstein, and Whedon. Uh, working hard to do that and we'll continue to do that at BCC because we know it's the right thing to do and it's our responsibility, our generation to speak up and really do what's right. So just thank you so much. I just want to express um, just pride uh, in our student leadership. BCC is known um, for the excellence of the students and the student leadership at the school. Um, and at this time, students have really shown um, how at BCC we value inclusion that we value and understand that the foundation for learning is that you have a sense of belonging in your school. Um, and th the students have led us in, in breaking down barriers and engaging in conversations. Um, and so these conversations lead to understanding. And um, it's just an excellent example uh, for all of us um, at the school and in the community. And I just want to express pride that these students have taken the leadership on engaging in the conversation to lead to understanding. So thank you. Thank you so much.